Okay, this is Scott Freeman, auctioneer, and I am going to take you guys on a tour of the auction for the city of Norfolk that is on April the 13th. We'll have an inspection here on April the 11th. That uh, inspection will be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. here at this uh, facility in Norfolk. We're going to go and do a walkthrough on these vehicles, uh, walk around every one of them, just give you an overview. If you don't want to watch the whole video, you don't need to do that. Take the bar down at the bottom of it, scroll it across. You can catch up with, uh, if you're only interested in lot number 30 or whatever the lot number is, and then you can hone in on that particular vehicle. Before you do any bidding, make sure you do your due diligence on it. Uh, use one of the car uh, reporting guides or to get some background history on it. And then I would also recommend that you come out here and do the inspection as the video will not cover any and all damages that may be on the car. I'll try to point them out the best that I can as we get to them, but please come out and do your own inspection, do your own due diligence before placing any bids. Okay, and some of these cars here will have key fees. I'll try to make uh, sure that I say that when we do. Uh, but uh, if I fail to do it, it will be in the description of it. That will be added to the hammer price at the end. For all the terms and conditions of the auction, please visit the website at auction757.com. Okay, we're on lot number one. We have a 2006 Honda Civic. She, as you can see, she has uh, caught on fire and done uh, quite a bit of damage on the inside of the engine compartment. Let's walk around and take a look at the body on this one. Let's see if I can adjust the screen, get you a little more of the car. There we go. Look at the back end of the Honda Civic and back up to the front. Once again, that engine compartment where she has uh, cooked a little bit of toast. And that's a look at lot number one. Lot number two is going to be a 1990 Dodge Daytona. No key on this one. Back up to the front of it. You can see the peeling paint, the damage that I see on the door. And that's a look at lot number two, the 1990 Dodge Daytona. Coming over to lot number three, we have a 2009 Chevrolet Malibu. Jump box hooked up to it, she fired right up. $85 on a key fee added to the hammer price on this one. Put it in gear. And backward. And let's get a look around. Very quiet on the engine. And look at the back end. Looks pretty clean, folks. And left the door open, so let's get a peek inside in here. Okay, and dash looks pretty good. Headliner looking pretty good from what I can see. Got a tear right here on the seat. Come out, take a look at it. That's a quick overview on lot number three, your 2009 Chevrolet Malibu. Okay, lot number four, we have a 1995 Oldsmobile 98. Has the key on it, no additional key fee added on this one. Started up with a jump. Move it forward and backward. And let's get you a look at the engine compartment on it. All right, and see it's a little bit of uh, molding down here. It is off. Let's take a peek at the back end. Look at the back end. And we'll come back up here. We have the same thing, a little bit of damage on this one. I can see some tears in the upholstery on the inside. Here's a look at the side of it. And 
door is open there's the there are the tears in the seat and that is going to be a look at lot number four your 95 osmobile 98 lot number five is going to be a 2007 bmw 328 no key on the bmw wrecked right here on the front uh, driver's side keyed down the side over here look at the back end of it coming back up the driver's side let me see if the door is open no the door is closed once again no key on this one you can see the damage right there on that front quarter as well and that's a look at lot number five your 2007 bmw 328 lot number six going to be a 2004 hyundai santa fe no key on the hyundai look at your engine compartment and we'll come back down she looks like she has hit something down here at a flat tire in the back. It looks like it's also been keyed coming down the side here. We'll come around the back end of it. And look at the back end, back up here. Has some marks, some damage all the way down the side of it. You can see the scuff uh, where something had been side swiped right through there. And that is a look at lot number six, your 2004 Hyundai Santa Fe. Lot number seven is a 1993 Oldsmobile Cutlass. No key on the Cutlass. Look at your engine compartment. You can see a belt, uh, looks like a serpentine belt that is uh, gone on there. Come back around to the back side of this one. And let's go back up to the front. Window is either broken out or down. The dashboard uh, taken apart. Some parts in here. It looks like new parts that would go with the car. Somebody evidently was so uh, starting to work on it. And that is a look at lot number seven, your 93 Oldsmobile Cutlass. Lot number eight coming up, and this is going to be a 2004 Hyundai Sonata. 2004 Hyundai Sonata. Engine compartment is up. Uh, engine, uh, uh, look at the engine compartment. The hood is up. No key on this one. You can see it's wrecked coming down the side right there. Piece some molding missing on this end. I can't slide behind this one, so I'll get you a peek. Look at the back end, and let's go around to the other side. <clears throat> Beautiful day here in Norfolk today. Look down the driver's side. Driver's side looks pretty good over here. And that is a look. At lot number eight, your 2004 Hyundai Sonata. Lot number nine coming up, and this is going to be a 2013 Chevrolet Malibu. Have the key on it, no key fee on the Malibu. He's got the jump box hooked up to it on the phone right now. So I'll uh, give him a minute to uh, clear that, and we'll see if we can get this one started and what she's going to do. 191,307 on the odometer. <clears throat> on this one so we'll get you a look uh, down the side got okay. some damage down here on the bottom by the uh, door a little bit of damage right there back end of it looks pretty clean I can hear it trying to do something you can see the airbag side airbags curtains on both sides have deployed so she's clicking and Turning over, but not starting. Okay. Turning over, but uh, not. He said that he had it uh, where it would start up, but it uh, would not go into gear. So this is what you're going to get. You slide down the driver's side, and we'll take a peek. 
Once again, side air curtains deployed on both sides on this one. That's a look at lot number nine, your 2013 Chevrolet Malibu. Okay, we're on lot number 10. This is gonna be a 2019 Hyundai Elantra. No key on the Elantra. You can see we have uh, extensive damage in the front up here. Uh, look at the uh, engine in this one. Amazing, the uh, hood is still on it in the front. Damage right here where the door is uh, jammed. More damage in the back, back here as well. And we'll come back around. airbag on the steering wheel has deployed as well as the one on the dash on the passenger side has also deployed cracked windshield and that is going to be a look at lot number 10 your 2019 hyundai elantra once again no key on that one lot number 11 2003 mercury sable we have a key she started right up with the jump there's quite a bit of damage over here on the front quarter, as you can see. And because of the damage that's there, it's not going to try to do anything with it. And a little damage right in there on passenger rear. Back end of it on the Sable looks pretty good. And let's come back up driver's side looking pretty good. A couple little dings here and there. Nothing uh, jumping out as major. And that's going to be a look at lot number 11, your 2003 Mercury Sable. Lot number 12 is going to be a 2004 Ford Explorer. No key on the Explorer. Look down the side here. A couple little dings. Nothing major. If I say there's nothing major, it doesn't mean that there's not something that I just don't see. It just means that I don't see it. Try to point it out as I see it. And climb back over here so we can get you a peek at the back end of it. There's a look at the back end. Coming back up. Some scratches and scratches and a couple of dings. Peeling paint. And look at your engine compartment on it. And that is going to be a look at lot number 12, your 2004 Ford Explorer. Coming up next, we have lot number 13. This is going to be a 2004 Ford Explorer. This one, we have the key on it. And that's all she's going to do. Windshield wipers work. Clean engine compartment, but she's not doing anything. Look down the side, you have the little some paint peeling paint issues and let's go down the other side over here loaded with uh, looks like building materials repair materials whatever else is in there it all conveys look at the back end of the explorer and that is lot number 13 your 2004 Ford Explorer. Coming over to lot number 14, this is going to be a 1992 Nissan pickup truck. Uh, no key on this one. Parts in the back. And slide through back here. Look at the back end of it. And we'll come back up the driver's side. Body damage. There it is. Engine is in there. Can't get the hood up because of the uh, damage on this one. But that's a look at lot number 14, your 1992 Nissan pickup. Lot number 15, this is going to be a 2009 Nissan Murano. No key on the Murano. Look in your engine compartment. And let's go down, get a look at the side here. Nothing jumping out on the Murano. She looks pretty good. 
I'm gonna walk around the other side. Got a flat tire. Both tires on the uh, passenger side are flat. And look side here, she's hit something up here on the front quarter. That uh, whatever it hit doesn't look like it deployed any of the airbags on the inside. So look at the back end, looks pretty good. Nothing uh, really jumping out, except for the damage right here on the front quarter. Once again, it does not appear that the airbags were deployed. And that's going to be a look at lot number 15, your 2009 Nissan Murano. Coming up, lot number 16, it's a 2003 Acura TL. Has the key started up on its own, folks. No jump box needed. Got a cracked windshield that I can see from here. Got it in gear. Very quiet. And backward. And the damage up here in the front, as you can see. Coming down the side, Some dents and dings. The engine sounds really good on this one, folks. I'm not saying that it is good, it just sounds really good. And look at the back end of it there. Looking good, got a cracked window or broken window here on the back door. Peek at the inside of it. Dashboard looks like it is intact from what I can see. And look at the back end. Got a sunroof on it. Come back around. Some detailing that's been done on that uh, front fender. And that's going to be a look at lot number 16, your 2003 Acura TL. Lot number 17 coming up. And this is going to be a 2006 Dodge Caravan. No key on it. Wheel missing in the front. She's been wrecked down the side. Tire in the back is totally shot. Need a new wheel back here. Look at the back end. Some dents and dings. And look back up the driver's side. And that's gonna be a look at lot number 17 your 2006 Dodge Caravan. Okay, we're on lot number 18. This is gonna be a 1999 Toyota Corolla. No key on the Corolla. You can see you've got some peeling paint up there. Lens cover damage in the front. Some dents and dings as we come down the side. Look at the back end of it. Some more uh, scratches, dents, dings. Ding right there in the bottom, right there on the bumper area. And we come back up. Notice the window is out on the uh, Toyota. And back up a little bit. And that's going to be a look at lot 18, your 99 Toyota Corolla. Lot number 19, this is going to be a 2007 Hyundai Sonata. No key on it. You can see the uh, engine is in there. The uh, radiator is actually inside of the car on the front seat. Don't know uh, condition on any of these as to whether the radiator is good or not but it is uh, inside of the car there is a radiator in there back end of it looks pretty good and we come back up look at the driver's side got a cracked mirror right here and the damage back up in the front end and that's going to be a look at lot number 19 your 2007 hyundai sonata lot number 20 coming up Okay, on uh, lot number 19, wanted to point out a couple of things. Some uh, All the wiring over here has been uh, chopped off. On there, you can see some additional parts that have been taken off and removed out of there. So just uh, wanted to give you guys a heads up uh, that it is uh, part, probably going to be for parts. And if you want to try to put it together, you're going to need some extensive uh, work to, in order to get it going. Okay, with that being said, we're moving on to lot number 20. This is gonna be a 2004 Audi A4. And no key on the Audi. You see some parts missing in the front over here. Some damage coming down the side. Uh, all the way down to the bottom, we have some damage down there. I think I need to zoom out a little bit for you guys. There we go. And let's come back up the side. The driver's side looking pretty good, folks. 
And that's going to be a look at lot number 20, your 2004 Audi A4. Lot number 21 is going to be a 2008 Nissan Sentra. $85 on your Kifi. Got the jump box hooked up to it. Time to start. Blowing some smoke out, as you can see. Trying to, trying to start up. She does start blowing some smoke. Obvious, uh, obvious issues. Come back around the side over here. Look at the back end of it. Scratches, dings. Take a peek at the inside while he's doing that. Does need to be cleaned up. Headliner looks like she's uh, got some stains on it and that kind of thing. Mirror is gone on that one. And that's going to be a look at lot number 21, your 2008 Nissan Sentra. Lot number 22 coming up. This is a 2005 Pontiac Grand Prix. Uh, going back to that uh, Nissan on lot 21, that did have an $85 key fee on it. I don't know that I said that in the beginning, but I noticed it afterwards, so I wanted to point that out. Lot number 22. Once again, the Pontiac Grand Prix, have a key, no key fee, doesn't do anything, jump box is hooked up, can't get it to do anything at all, so we'll get you a look at it. It's pretty clean coming down the side, uh, actually it needs to be washed, but uh, when I say clean, uh, I'm talking about uh, major wreck damages, not seeing much here, same thing, mirror going on this one as well, peeling paint on it. Look at the engine compartment on lot number 22. And there we go. Looks like somebody had had some wiring issues uh, previously, tried to do some repair. And that's going to be a look at the 2005 Pontiac Grand Prix lot 22. Lot number 23, this is a 2001 Toyota Avalon. No key on the Avalon. Get you a look at the engine compartment on it. Back up, bumper hanging down on the front. Peek down the side. Look at the back end. We come back up the front, and that is lot 23, your 2001 Toyota Avalon. Lot number 24, this is a 2002 Toyota Camry, no key on the Camry. Down the side, got a broken windshield on it. Got a window issue here, whether it's broken out or not working. And look at the back end. Flat tire on the back here, flat tire in the front as well. Let's look at lot number 24, your 2002 Toyota Camry. Toyota Camry. All right, lot number 25. This is going to be a 2004 Honda Pilot. No key on the Pilot. Look at the engine compartment on it. You can see something has been pulled off right there. And let's look down the side of it. Pretty clean coming down the side. Look at your back end. Once again, looks pretty good. A quick glance. And let's go back up the driver's side. She's looking pretty good. And we'll see. It is open. Peek at the inside, all the trash that's in there. Torn seats. Here's a look at it. And that is going to be lot number 25 your 2004 Honda Pilot. Lot number 26, this is going to be a 2004 Infiniti G35. Wrecked right up here in the front corner. No key on it. Look at your engine compartment. Go down the side. Get a look here. 
back end of it looking pretty good back here picked up a spider web as we came through has some damage back here coming down the side tires are flat on on uh, the car cracked windshield and that's going to be a look at lot number 26 your 2004 infinity lot number 27 coming up and this is going to be a 2014 hyundai elantra 75 dollars on the key fee all right we're on lot number 27 and this is going to be a i'm sorry i got a little chuckle with larry there so i got a little off track uh this is a two th uh, uh, 2014 hyundai elantra um $75 on the key fee. I think I'd already said that, but I uh, wanted to make sure I get it in. Uh, jump box hooked up, started right up. You heard it. Towing, uh, to, uh, stolen and recovered on this one. And moving it forward. And backward. Sounds pretty good, folks. And you hear it? Look down the side of it. it looks pretty good as you look down the driver's, uh, the passenger side. Look at the back end of the Elantra. Back end of it's looking good as well. And we'll come back up. Yeah, let's get you a peek since we're here. Needs to be cleaned up. Dashboard looks to be intact. Headliner looks to be intact as well. Looks pretty good all the way around. Once again, stolen and recovered vehicle. A little bit of damage right here on that front, right there where it's a jar. And that's going to be a look at lot number 27, the 2014 Hyundai Elantra. Lot number 28, and this is gonna be a 2008 Hyundai Sonata have the key on it i guess she doesn't do anything oh, damn. <laughs> she's trying to start up ninety six thousand eight twenty six is what it is showing on the odometer over here it's jam something inside you go to try to put it in gear it does start up exhaust issue or a catalytic converter issue uh, let's get a look at it and another vehicle that was stolen and recovered and look at the back end on the sonata this was uh, this is the uh, limited series. They're top of the line Sonata. And we're back up to the front end. I can see some parts on the inside of it. A front uh, thing there. Once again, top of the line. Going to have leather seats on it. Looks like they're okay. Mirror's been pulled off. Got flat tire over here. There's your damage on that front and that's a look at lot number 28 the 2008 Hyundai Sonata lot number 29 is going to be a 2001 PT Cruiser we have a key on this one he's hooking it up while he's doing that yeah, let's get a look got a cracked windshield yeah, look down the side of it just some fading peeling paint back end of it's looking pretty good same thing Airbag deployed on the steering wheel and the passenger side. All right, doesn't do anything. Look down your driver's side. Let's get a peek once again. Both airbags deployed on it. Dashboard uh, taken apart. Close that up. And that's going to be a look at lot number 29. 
Okay, we're on lot number 30. This is a 2007 Hyundai Sonata. $75 on your key fee on this Hyundai. Doesn't do anything with a jump box hooked up to it. All right, and get you a look down the side and the back end of it. Dings here and there. Flat tire on the back over here. Coming back up to the front. Look at your engine compartment once again. She wouldn't do anything as far as starting up. And that is a look at the Hyundai Sonata lot number 30. Lot number 31 coming up. We have another one. Stolen recovered or no? Stolen, recovered. Ignition uh, uh, has been uh, damaged on this one, so he's going to use uh, uh, some tools to bypass it. Started right up with the jump box. Windshield wipers working on it. She looks pretty clean up here in the front. See some trim damage over by the jump, jump box. forward and backward a broken window or the windows down won't come up one of the two look at your back end it's the SE model Sonata and come back up over here let's take a peek at the inside Headliner looks like it's intact. Basketball will go with it. Once again, the ignition switch pulled out when they stole it. Did some damage around the uh, trim work on the column. And that's going to be a look at lot number 31, your 2019 Hyundai Sonata. Okay. We are on lot number 32, I believe. And yes, it is lot number 32. It has the jump box hooked up to it. And this is going to be a 2004 Toyota Avalon. Have the key on this one. No key fee. While he's uh, looking for that. Started right up with the jump. Moved it forward. And backward. Sounds pretty good on this one. I can see uh, some bullet holes in the windshield, as you can see right there. Glass uh, on the side uh, is missing. Uh, probably been shot out as well. More holes uh, right here in the doorway. Back window is shattered as well. Look at the back end of it. And we'll come up the driver's side. More bullet holes here going in and out. And that's going to be a look at lot number 32, your Toyota Avalon. Okay, we're on lot number 33. This is going to be a 2014 Nissan Altima. No key on this one. I just asked uh, why we didn't have a key on it, and he said he just overlooked it. So, uh, got some bullet holes as we come down the side here. Look at the back end of it. She looks pretty clean in the back. Nissan Altima. And come back up here. Yeah, let's take a peek at the inside. Pretty clean on the inside. I mean, it does need to be cleaned up, but I don't see anything jumping out at me that uh, in the repair. Let's look at the engine compartment. Needs a battery. 
radiator cap is off. And that's going to be a look at lot number 33, your 2014 Nissan Altima. Coming across, we have lot number 34. And this is going to be a 2006 Chevrolet Tahoe. $75 on the TV. Started right up with a jump box. Move it forward. And back. And let's get you a peek at the engine on it. Sounds really good on this one, folks. It's looking pretty good as we go down. I can see some, some dents and dings. Nothing is just looking major. And look at the back end. Been modified. You added on a custom bumper to be able to pull something and look back up the driver's side once again I don't see anything jumping out at me let's take a look at the a quick peek at the inside on this one and mirror hanging down look at the back end and that's going to be a look at lot number 34 your 2006 Chevrolet Tahoe Lot number 35 coming up, and this is a 2006 Mercedes R500. No key on the Mercedes. Some damage right here on the front. Damage right here on the side coming down. Both doors. And look at the back end of the Mercedes. And a broken window uh, back here. back up to the damage on the front and that is a look at it that is lot number 35 your 2006 mercedes r500 lot number 36 is a 1997 volvo 960 no key on it look at your engine have to walk back around to the other side because I can't get behind this one. We'll get behind it over here. Take a look. And that is a look at lot number 36. Your 97 Volvo 960. Lot number 37 coming up. And this is a 2000 Volkswagen Jetta. No key on the Jetta. Look at the engine compartment. Down the side here. Looks pretty clean as you come down the side. It's got minor scratches. Dings. Back up here, window issue on this side. Get a peek at the back end of it. Back end is looking pretty good on your Jetta. And that is a look at lot number 37, the Volkswagen Jetta. Lot number 38 is going to be a 2012 BMW 528. No key on the BMW. Engine compartment looks pretty clean from what I can see. Look down the side over here. Once again, nothing really jumping out at me, folks. Not that I can see. Some damage right there on the front. Also carrying around all the way around the uh, front fender. And let's sh shoot around to the back side of it. Look at the back end of the BMW. And that is a look at lot number 38, the 2012 BMW. Lot number 39 is going to be a 2004 Land Rover. As the key started up with the jump.
quieted down once it uh, started up. Got a transmission issue. Or an issue when you go to put it in gear. If she does start right up with a jump. Come back around. Yeah, let's take a peek at the back end of it. And there's a look at the back end. Come back up. And that's a look at lot 39, your 2004 Land Rover Range Rover. All right, the next lot we have is lot number 40. This is a 2020 Mitsubishi Mirage. Wrecked in the front. Looking down the side over here. Wrecked all the way down the side here. And, and in the back as well. Cracked window broken. Extensive damage on it. Come back around over here on this side. It's been wrecked all the way around, folks. Come back and look at the back end of it. Get a better idea. It's been wrecked here. And that's going to be a look at lot number 40, your 2020 Mitsubishi Mirage. Okay, we're on lot number 41, 1996 Geo Prism. No key on the Prism. No key, Larry? On the Prism, no. Okay, mileage uh, 167, 200. Uh, I'm on the wrong car on the uh, video. That white one is coming up next. This is the uh, Geo Prism, lot 41. 96 you can see the damage right here on the front looking down the side and coming down the side here something else that's hit it as well can I get you a shot at the back end of it That's going to be lot number 41, the 96 Prism. Lot 42 is a 2019 Toyota Corolla. Have the key on this one, 97,221 on the odometer. She fired right up with the jump. Sounds really good. Put it in gear, moved it forward and backward. Got some damage. You can see the tape holding up the bumper in several spots, uh, that front end on it, the trim on it. Uh, you do, yes, sir. 97,221 on the odometer. Look at the very front on this one. See the trim that is missing on the bottom in the front. And we have some damage back over here. Cracked windshield on this one, uh, folks. Airbag deployed on this side. I didn't notice it on the other side. Look at your back end on it. Looks all right. Extensive damage right here on the driver side door and rear quarter. come back up to the front of it and that's going to be a look at lot 42 your 2019 toyota corolla lot number 43 is going to be a 2002 acura cl 3.2 85 dollars on your key fee on this one got an exhaust issue possibly a catalytic converter i'm not going to climb underneath the look you guys want to know Come out and take a look on inspection day. Make your own determination. 
whatever it'll take to uh, fix it. Once again, she started right up with a jump. Got her transmission issue. And a ding, ding back there in the rear. Let's go back up, take a look side over here. Down the driver's side. Be able to walk around, get you a peek from the other side of the fence. Put the back end on it. There's a look at the back end of the Acura. And that's spot number 43, your 2002 Acura. Okay, lot number 44 is going to be a 1989 Ford Econoline van. No key on the van. Let's get you a quick look around. You can see some damage up here in the front with the trim that's missing on the front grille. Custom paint job on this one, folks. You can see it. Didn't even bother to cover the window. A little bit of overspray. There you go. Look at it. Paint job. Looks like they did it all the way around. Did tape up the door handles, though, in the mirror. And the windshield wipers on it. And that's going to be a look at lot number 44. Your eight, 1989 Ford Econoline van. Lot number 45 is going to be a 2003 Kia Sedona. No key on the Kia. Wrecked on the side coming up here. Wheel gone on it. Look at the back end. You can see the damage that's there. Broken window. Glass inside. Come back up. Go around the side over here. So look at it. That's a look at lot number 45. Your 2003 Ikea Sedona. Lot number 46 coming up. And this is going to be a 1998 Ford E350. No key on the E350 van. Look at the front. Coming down the side, got a tire issue back here on the back. Look at the very back end of it. And let's go back up over here. Side swipe something right in there. Didn't do much of a dent, but it did leave some paint or took some paint off. Back up to the front of it, and that's going to be a look at lot 46, the 98 Ford E350. Lot number 47, no key. This is going to be a 1993 Chevrolet pickup truck. And look at the back end back here on the Chevrolet truck. Slide through here. May lose you guys for a minute as I readjust. Back around up to the front. And that's going to be a look at the Chevrolet truck lot number 47. Lot number 48 is going to be a 2016 Ford Fusion. No key on this one. Wrecked in the front. Engine is uh, there. You can see the extensive damage right here in the front. On lot 48, let's take a peek at the back side of it. Back side looking pretty good. And back up on the driver's side. Mirror is going. You can see the damage right in there. And that is a look at the Ford Fusion lot number 48. Lot number 49 is going to be a 2002 BMW X5. No key on the BMW. See the damage on the front. Damage underneath the uh, tarp here. Uh, window is either down or out. And same thing here.
window is either down or out. And look at the back end of it. Back end of it looks pretty clean. Yeah, let's go back up in front and walk around to the driver's side. Look and down the driver's side of lot 49. And there you go. And that is going to be it on the 2002 BMW X5. Lot number 50 coming up. No key on the lot 50. That is a 2003 Chevrolet Tahoe. Get a look, ladders on the top, wheel convey. Got a nice uh, Warner extension, uh, fiberglass extension ladder up here. It will go with it. Along with the aluminum ladder. Look at the back end, let's come back up. Inside here, loaded down with stuff inside of it as well. Not gonna try to open it up. There you go, that's a look at Lot 50, your 2003 Chevrolet Tahoe. Lot 51 is gonna be a 2006 Saturn SL1. Wrecked in the front, no key on this one, folks. Down the side. up the driver's side let's look at lot number 51 your 2006 saturn lot 52 is going to be a 2008 kia optima no key on the optima look at your back end Coming back around here, back up the driver's side. She looks pretty good. That's a look at lot 52, the 2008 Kia. Lot 53, no key to 2000 Acura TL 3.2. Damage in the front, lower flat tire here, the tire in the back is shot. I'm not going to be able to get behind this one get you for a shot of the back end on it my sun glare is uh, kicking me where I can't even see my screen on the video today so hopefully you're able to see this and look at the side here once again all the tires are shot on it and that is a look at lot number 53 the 2000 Acura TL Okay, lot number 54 is going to be a 2007 Mini Cooper. No key on the Mini Cooper. You see the trim that's missing on it. Windows uh, either down or out on it. Uh, looks like it is there. See a uh, glass down inside of the uh, door. And look at the back end of it. Let's go back up driver's side. Looking pretty good over here. And that's a look at your Mini Cooper lot number 54. It does have a cracked windshield on that one, folks. I didn't see it when I was going down the other side, but now that I'm standing here, I do see that it has a cracked windshield. All right, once again, lot 54, the 2007 Mini Cooper. Okay, we're on lot number 55. This is gonna be a 2006 Toyota Scion. No key on this one. You can see the damage in the front up here. Parts been cut off of it, taken out. Look down the side of it. A few parts on the inside, broken glass. Get a peek at the back end on it. There's a peek at the back. And yeah, let's come back up. Driver's side looks pretty good. donut tire on the front driver's side once again parts uh, cut off of it on that one that's a look at lot number 55 the scion 
Lot number 56, gonna be a 2012 Mercedes C250. Do have the keys started right up without any jump. 111,417 miles on it. Started right up, put it in gear, went forward and backward with it. You can hear it's very clean, uh, uh, quiet engine on it. Low tire over here. Looks pretty good as we come down the side. It looks good in the back as well. So nothing that I see that is uh, major that I can see just walking around. Coming back up, same thing over here. She looks pretty good. And give you an overview on the engine on it. Back up so you can see the front end, and that's lot number 56, the 2012 Mercedes C250. Lot number 57, 2009 Nissan Maxima. No key on the Maxima. And a little bit of uh, damage right in there with the trim fender hanging down. Trim bumper, rather, hanging down. Come around, some scuffs on the back, nothing uh, jumping out this major. There we have some damage coming up here, all the way down the side of it. Side swipe something, tire shot on it. Once again, no key on this one. That is lot 57, your 2009 Nissan Maxima. Lot number 58 is going to be a 1987 Cadillac Brom. No key on the Brom. Classic car. Restoration project for somebody. Look at the back end over here. And let's go around and look at the driver's side on the bomb. She's sitting up on a uh, piece of concrete. Look down this side. And let's go back up. And that's going to be a look at lot number 58. The 80s, 1987 Cadillac Brom. Lot number 59 is going to be a 1998 Dodge Stratus. No key on the Stratus. Hood is up on it. Look at your engine compartment. Somebody has pulled some parts cover off uh, right there on top with a rag sitting on top of it. Look down the side on the Dodge. Got a cracked windshield as well. Come around the back side of it. Look at your back end on the Stratus and back up the driver's side here. Peeling paint, nothing that's jumping out at me with the body. And that is lot number 59, your 1998 Dodge Stratus. Lot number 60 is going to be a 2006 Lexus RX 330. Started up with the jump box. Moved it forward and backward. Got extensive damage here on the front. Cracked windshield as well. Look down the side. Got a needs a new wheel on the back of it. Over here. Got a look at the back end here. Doesn't look too bad from the back side. Back here, the wheel shot back here as well. And we're gonna go back up to the front on it. And this is lot number 60, your 2006 Lexus RX 330. Okay, we're on lot number 61. We have a 2007 Nissan Altima, no key on it. Have some dings coming down the side, nothing major. Got a back window that's out back here. Uh, looks like another uh, bullet hole or two right here on the top. Uh, probably hit one of them, probably hit the window as well. Bullet holes in the side, both glasses been shot out over here. Mirror missing. That's going to be a look at it. Lot number 61, the 2007 Nissan Altima. Lot number 62 is going to be a 2007 Chevrolet Tahoe. $85 on the key fee on the Tahoe. That's what she's going to do. 
All right. Look at your engine compartment. She's not going to do anything, folks. Look down the side of it. And the tire issue back here. Not going to be able to squeeze through. There's a look at the back end on it. Walk down the driver's side. Some dings right here in the doorway that you can see. Back up to the front, and that's going to be it. A look at lot 62, your 2007 Tahoe. Lot number 63 is going to be a 2003 Honda Pilot. No key on the Honda Pilot. Got a window issue over here on the passenger side. Looking around the back, she looks pretty good in the back. And coming back up here, a few dents and dings. Another window issue on the front. Steering column. Uh, Looks like it's been taken apart as well. Some issues there. And that is a look at 63, your 2003 Honda Pilot. Lot 64, it's a 2007 Chevrolet Tahoe. Have the key, but all she does is click on this one. That's the front end uh, uh, trim stuff missing. You can hear it trying to uh, do something, but she's just gonna click. There's a look at your engine compartment on it. Let's get a peek as we walk around on the Tahoe coming down the side. It's the LTZ model. Look at the back end. She's looking pretty good back here, folks. And back up on the driver's side. And some dings, uh, minor dents and dings as we come up the driver's side. And that's going to be a look at lot number 64, the 2007 Tahoe. Lot number 65 is going to be a 2007 Hyundai Santa Fe. No key on the Santa Fe. Get you a look at the engine compartment on it. And let's go do a walk down the side here. Around the back end. Nothing jumping out at me on the back end of the Santa Fe. Got a broken lens cover on the bottom right there. Coming back up here, some, some scratches and dings. Coming back up to the front, and that is a look at lot 65, the 2007 Santa Fe. Lot 66 coming up, and no key on 66. This is going to be a 2007 Jeep Patriot. Look at your engine compartment on this one. Coming down the side. pretty good from the back end of it some, some dings nothing uh, looks like it's really major flat tires and back up to the front of it and that's lot 66 your 2007 Jeep Patriot 67 coming up this is going to be a 2006 Jeep Grand Cherokee, no key on it. Look at your engine compartment on it. Looks pretty good, back up and coming down the side. Has uh, been hit, side swipe something here, window damage back here on the passenger side, back rear door. Window uh, out in the very back on it. And squeeze through here. Coming back up, we have some scuffs and scratches coming back up the driver's side. Ding right there on the front quarter. And that's a look at the Jeep Grand Cherokee Lot 67. Lot 68 is going to be a 2008 Chevrolet Aveo. We have the key on it. 88,192 on the odometer on this one. No key fee. We do have the key, as you can hear. Started up with a jump. Moving it forward and backward and look at the engine compartment on it you hear it running and let's go all the way around the back beautiful uh, uh flower covered upholstery inside in here all right
come back around on the driver's side. Don't see anything really jumping out here. Does need a nice bath. May need a tire up here in the front. She is flat. And that's going to be a look at the Aveo lot number 68. Lot number 69 is going to be a 2002 Nissan Maxima. No key on it. She has been wrecked over on the driver's side. We'll get to it. Airbag deployed over here on the passenger side. You can see it right there. Get you a peek coming down the side. A look at the back end of it. Got the spoiler. Peeling paint. Moon roof is uh, cracked, shattered. Damage, extensive damage right there in the front. Coming back down the side here. And that's a look at the driver's side. Window is open over here. There's a look at the inside of lot 69. The 2002 Nissan Maxima. Our last vehicle that we have is going to be a 2009 Saturn View. No key on the Saturn View. Look at it from the front. She looks pretty clean. Coming down the side, a couple little scuffs and dents and dings, nothing major. Look at the back end of it, clean once again. And down the side, the driver's side here, flat tire on the front. And that is our last car, lot number 70 in the auction. This auction, once again, is scheduled to end on Thursday, April the 13th, starting at 1030. Please come out and visit. Uh, do the inspection on Tuesday, the 11th, that inspection, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Make sure you hit that like button if this was any help. See you there.